do the things that you want. I, I think it's like you got I, people are not sometimes do not know what your reality is in the sense that like they don't know that you have a dinner Friday night or they don't know that like having this weekend off is very important for you or they don't know that you haven't slept in three days and sleeping yeah. is important. So I think doing it in a nice way, but being able to voice it and communicate it. Yeah, yeah communicate. Really. Just telling them like. Listen, like I'm willing to do the work. Is there a way we can compromise or like find a, a time that works? It's people will respect you as a person, and if you're doing it in the right way, will appreciate the fact that you're raising your concerns rather than waiting, 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 yeah. and then doing. I think the other uh, totally good communication, and then also even even in summers and summer internships, etc. I think the key around. Um, you know, uh, the ability to say, hey, I have these three conflicting deadlines going on. So like, how, yeah. do you, how should I help prioritize yeah. it? It's not that you don't want to do the work. It's just you want a little bit of help prioritizing these things because you're, you're kind of being asked pulled three different ways. The, the, um, the best piece of advice I was given was when you're given work, especially in banking, double the time you think it's going to take you <laughs> and then give it as a deadline. So like, if I'm being told by three different people at the same time, like, can you do this, this, and this? Like, yes, I'll do it. Is it okay if I get back to you in 24 hours, I have those competing deadlines, or like in 48 hours. Yeah. And and then you, especially if you give yourself more time, like you won't feel as stressed because you're going to have set the expectation and yes. you're probably going to be able to deliver or About over deliver on yeah, those yeah. expectations. And then people feel that they're you're always on top of things. Yeah. So, like, voice it over. Just so like, like, and the, the, the age old quote, like, under promise, over deliver kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. And true. The other thing uh, I would also highlight there is, and look, we're kind of getting the nitty gritty of like work itself, but, um, if you have, I think a lot of the time spend is when people don't understand what's being asked or, you know, are really struggling with like yeah. capturing and, and it's going to happen. Look, we're all going to make mistakes, but we're also going to be in positions where there's going to be ambiguity, et cetera. So I always kind of, you know, I always advise people, look, spend a little bit of time up front if you don't know what you're doing or trying to solve the problem. But if it's going on, going on for like hours on end, I think it's fine to raise your hand and say, hey, like, this is what I think the problem I'm trying to solve is. But it feels like that's going to take three like days to do. Is this? Am I thinking about this right way? I think a lot of people end up investing time because they're afraid to ask these questions, and then then end up wasting a lot of time, and then it ends up being inefficient, right? I, I don't know, you know. Uh